something to hand it up or take it too seriously. So uh, we get in before the heart attack, we just abuse and abuse and abuse our hearts until bang, we have a heart attack. Now I can't move from that chair to that chair without, a, without an oxygen mask or, mask or I have a stroke or something like that. Of course, trauma might just come into our life un totally uninvited and if trauma does come into our life uninvited, then we have to start being pretty smart with how we deal with that adversity and hopefully turn it into a stream. We have great days. We have great days like Are You OK Day? Who likes Are You OK Day? We've just gone past Are You OK Day. Um, I think Are You OK, and I, I, I kind of, you know, when Are You OK Day started, I thought it was good, then it got really commercialised, and now it's kind of lost the plot. Um, I was at the mines last year on Are You OK Day, and I was walking behind a couple of miners, um, and, uh, and I heard, actually heard one of the guys say to his mate, um, in a fun way, this bloke's through, Are You OK? And his mate turned around, the and mucking around, turned around and said, well, you're going to death. You know, so, um, you know, it's just, uh, we, we've got to be careful how we've commercialised. Are you okay day is not one day, it's 365 days a year. And so I'm a bit worried what we're doing with are you okay. So I always like to bring it back to ourselves. This whole presentation is about bring it back to yourself. Um, so don't ask the, you know, are you okay, ask the question, if you know, uh, don't ask the question, are you okay? Ask him, I okay? Imagine we could get that control back. Um, who's brave enough to do that? Who's brave enough to work up to a colleague and say, hey, license to speak, how am I doing? Who knows, uh, anybody know a tosser? <laughs> anybody know a tosser at your workplace? Anybody know a tosser in this room? No, that isn't. <laughs> but tossers are everywhere, aren't they? And the funny thing about being a tosser, once we become a tosser, we specialise in being a tosser. <laughs> no one can talk to us, no, no one can approach us, we just stay in that little bubble because everyone's scared to talk to us, so we stay being a tosser. And then sadly, 25 years later, I died being a tosser. The love Paul, father of two, died being a, died being a tosser. My question to you is, how do you know you're not the tosser? How would you know? Have you ever asked, gone up to your best work colleague or your best friend and say, Hey, license to speak, we're going to have a pretty frank conversation about me and my life. What's it like to work with me? What's it like to hang out with me? Are you up for what's going to come back? Do you reckon you could handle it? Do you reckon someone says, well, mate, you are a bit of a toss? Yeah, thanks very much, mate. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, um, but, you know, I can play around with that concept, but these are the areas we need to go. In the ambulance, I'm an open book. All my partners know that they can say anything they'd like to me. Hey, mate, that job did today, that was shit house. Really? What did I do wrong? Oh, the way of blah, 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 whatever the case may be. I want to know. If I'm a tosser, I want to know. God forbid, I'd, I'd hate to think that I spent my whole life wrapped up in this little bubble. You know, don't talk to him <laughs> or such and such. So um, open it up. 